The Senate will come to order. Members, please stand for the prayer. Today we will pause for a moment of silent prayer and reflection, and following that moment, please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Secretary will take the roll. Senators Abler, Anderson, Bach, Benson, Bigham, Carlson, Chamberlain, Champion, Clausen, Coleman, Swazinski, Dames, Dibble, Darnick, Dreheim, D Duckworth, Dietzik, Eaton, Eichhorn, Eakin, Fran Fate, Friends and Friends, Gazelka, Goggin, Herr, Hoffman, Housley, Howe, Ingerbritson, Isaacson, Jasinski, Johnson, Johnson, Stewart, Kent, Kiffmeyer, Klein, Coran, Kunish, Lang, Latz, Limmer, Marty, Matthews, McEwen, Miller, Murphy, Nelson, Newman, Newton, Osmick, Pappas, Port, Pratt, Putnam, Rarick, Rest, Rosen, Rood, Senjum, Thomasoni, Torres, Ray, Utke, Weber, Westrom, Weger, Wickland. Pursuant to Rule 14.1, the following members intend to vote under Rule 40.7. Senators Abler, Anderson, Carlson, Champion, Clausen, Swazinski, Dibble, Eaton, Eichhorn, Fate, Gazelka, Housley, Isaacson, Johnson, Stewart, Klein, Kunish, Latz, Marty, McEwen, Newman, Newton, Osmick, Pappas, Putnam, Rest, Rosen, Senjum, Thomasoni, Torres Ray, Westrom, and Wicklin. A quorum is present. Members, today we're working off an agenda and an addendum. Uh, the first order of business is the second order of business, executive and official communications. Uh, the following communications uh, listed in the agenda were received. Uh, please make note of them. Next, we'll move to the fifth order of business, reports of committees. Senator Johnson. Mr. President, I move that the committee reports printed in the agenda and the addendum be adopted. On that motion, all in favor say aye. Opposed say no. Motion prevails. Next, we'll move to the sixth order of business, second reading of Senate bills. The Secretary will read the Senate file numbers. Senate file numbers 875, 1315, 761, 2029, 915, 1114, 1974, 1535, 1704, and 226. These Senate files are given their second reading. Next, we'll move to the eighth order of business, introduction and first reading of Senate files listed in today's introduction calendar. Our Senate file numbers 2124 through 2155. There's a change on page one. Senate file 2128 will be referred to the Committee on Environment and Natural Resources Finance. And on page three, Senate file 2147 will be referred to the Committee on Judiciary and Public Safety Finance and Policy. These Senate files are given their first reading and referred as indicated. Next, we'll move to the ninth order of business, motions and resolutions. There are several authors' motions uh, listed in the agenda. We'll take these authors' motions as one motion. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed say no. Motion prevails. We have a couple motions to be read by members. Senator Pratt. Thank you, uh, Madam, Mr. President. Um, I move that Senate File 1678 be withdrawn from the Committee on Energy and Utilities Finance and re-referred to the Energy to the Committee on Environment and Natural Resources Finance. This is my bill, and I've talked to both authors or both chairmen. On the Pratt motion, any discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor, say aye. aye. Opposed, say no. Motion prevails. Senator Bigham. 
Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I move that Senate File 2106 be withdrawn from the Committee on State Government Finance Policies and Elections and re-refer to the Committee on Civil Law and Data Practices Policy. I have communicated with both chairs. Sounds like it's I make a stop in civil law and head right back to, to state government finance. Discussion on the bigger motion. Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Opposed say no. Motion prevails. Next, we'll move to the 13th order of business, announcements of Senate interest. Senator Herr. Uh, Mr. President, uh, I have spoken on the issue of racism a number of times here on the floor, but uh, last night, eight people were shot and killed in Atlanta many of whom were women of Asian descent. Uh, this horrifying attack comes in the midst of drastic uptake in anti-Asian violence over the past year, with a disproportionate number of attacks against Asian American women. We condemn this violence against Asian American community and mourn for the victim of this attack. We all must condemn this wave of violence against the Asian American Pacific Islander community. The search, search of anti-Asian violence is unacceptable and we demand justice for them. Whether it is our own communities or in Georgia, this attack are rooted in racism and we must play a part in combating racism through collective action. Addressing the violence, violence requires education by all of us and civil rights protection that protects our communities. Thank you, Mr. President. Announcements of Senate interest. Senator Pratt. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. And uh, I just want to concur with the comments made by Senator Herr. I think everyone in this chamber should be uh, condemning the violence uh, in, uh, in Atlanta. And uh, uh, we should not stand for uh, racial mo racially motivated violence in any way, shape, or form. And Mr. President, I might just ask for a brief recess for a moment of silence. Um, let's get through the announcements of Senate, uh, of Senate interest, Senator Pratt, and then um, right after we adjourn, we'll ask members to stay in the chamber and then uh, we will do a, a moment of silence. Are there any other announcements of Senate interest? Senator Johnson. Mr. President, I move that the Senate do now adjourn until March 18th at 11 a.m. Senator Johnson moves that the Senate do now adjourn until Thursday, March 18th at 11 a.m. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed say no. Aye. Motion prevails. <laughs> the Senate is adjourned. Uh, members, uh, please stand for a moment of silence. Thank you, members. The Senate is adjourned.